testing one, two. Just want to move the slide here. Let me know if everything looks good. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay, I'll be right back. Hello everyone, this is Kevin. It is 427. We start in three minutes. Three minutes start time, everyone. Thank you and welcome. Your host and presenter today, Melissa Armo from the stockswish.com.
testing one two kathy i do have the mic on i've checked the audio it's it's all the way up i i don't know unless i'm whispering okay here we go And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter today. Please welcome the, from the stockswish.com. Please welcome <laughs> Melissa Armo. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for coming and welcome. It's a gorgeous, wonderful day here in New York City. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. My name is Melissa Armo. And thank you so much, Online Trader Central, for having me. I own a company called the Stock Swoosh. And today I'm going to talk about how to train your brain to make money trading one strategy. So for all of those of you who are here, you're going to get really good information today because I'm gonna do a little teaching actually about the brain besides trading. And the reason that this is important is because your brain is responsible for your success as a trader. And not only that, your success in really anything that you do. If you would like more information after the webinar, you can email me at melissatthestockswish.com. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Skype. And you can also follow me, Melissa Armo, on Twitter as well. I've posted a lot of pictures and things on there too. So first of all, we're going to talk about one strategy because I focus on one strategy. And this is part and parcel of the idea of focusing and training your brain. Can you just do one strategy and make money? The answer is yes. Now, I only day trade. Okay, but you could use my strategy to do day trading, swing trading, for trading options. Okay, now I only do one thing, but the strategy itself you can use for many, many different types of entries in the market. What is it that you need though to be successful? You need your brain. I don't remember when, well, I've always kind of known this actually, like I've always been just focused on being an intellectual person. I'm, I'm a bright woman, okay? And when I began training, I thought, well, I'm really smart. I'll figure this out in like six months. That was hilarious <laughs> because I did not figure it out in six months, okay? The, the strategy that I do, the method that I'm doing right now, which makes me money in the market, and, and I teach a class on it to other people, actually took me three years to figure out. So even if you're brilliant, like Albert Einstein was here, uh, the market is something that you really have to grab hold of and understand all conceptually what you need to do it. So you need the strategy, you need to be able to take the trade and have the hutzpah to do it, and you have to have your brain working right, okay? And even if you're really smart, you have to stay on course with your brain. And what happens is we go through life and we have all these things going on, let's call them free radicals, okay, that happen during our day, bombard us, and they affect our emotional state, our brain. And that this happens when you're trading. It could happen in a millisecond when you're trading, it could happen in a minute when you're trading, it could happen over the course of hours of trading. Now, I happen to only trade the morning, okay? But things can happen very quickly in the market. And all of this has to do with your ability to be able to make decisions quickly, which is reliant on your brain, okay? Now, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about something that I'm, okay, I'm teaching you something here about the brain. Before I talk about the strategy, all right, I'm going to explain to you something that we all have, okay? We have something called a brain loop. Now, this is a quote, actually, from a New York Times article. It says, brain, oh brain, why won't you let us relax? A recent study shows that the brain is partly to blame in creating endless loops, feedback loops of stress. Researchers exposed lab wraps to a kind of rodent Abu Ghraib prison, complete with electric shocks and water dunking, to create a state of chronic anxiety. Okay, you know what I mean if you've ever traded before and you've had anxiety, and and if you and if you've traded, been trading for weeks and days and months and years, and you've been losing, then you that's chronic anxiety. Okay. Anyways, getting back to the article, they found that the brains of these rats actually changed and became rewired as a result of the stress. Now, what's the stress with the trading when you lose? Yeah, that's stressful. It's stressful. And if you are losing continuously, it's very stressful. Regions of the brain associated with executive decision making and goal directed behaviors had shriveled. This is in the rats. Okay, this is the study. While conversely, brain sectors linked to habit formation had bloomed. Now, this is really 
the brain body loop. This is this is real. Like I didn't make this up. This is real, and we all have brains. Okay, and we're all human beings. Everyone that's here. The main communication systems of the body, which is the immune, cardiovascular, and endocrine systems, are influenced by the brain. In other words, the brain controls, like if you take a step, and if I step off into the elevator, I'm doing that without processing the thought, but my brain is responsible for me taking the step, okay? Your brain is responsible for every function in the human body. So, okay, getting back. These things are influenced by the brain through direct nervous system activity and circulating hormones. Again, that's something very important. That's another lecture I can do. In turn, they feed back signals to the brain, completing the brain loop. So it goes like around. Okay, picture your brain and picture going around. This idea of the brain loop, which is real, which you have, is real. Okay, there's been scientific studies about it. It is easy for the brain to remember the last thing it thought. So let's give an example. Let's just say you traded yesterday and you lost. You get up the next day. You have an amazing trade, but you don't do it. Why? Because you're thinking about the one from the yesterday that you lost, and the loss is from yesterday. You see where I'm going with this, okay? But the fact is, and this is what I'm trying to show you here, the most relevant thing in your mind is the last thing your brain thought. So, if you can consistently think positive thoughts of abundance, profits in the market, over and over and over again, then that will be the thoughts in your brain loop, because you're, this is real, okay? The brain loop will then be going in a positive direction instead of a negative one. I call it amnesia. I joke about this and I kind of say, talk about it in the room, but the fact is you do have to have amnesia, because if you're thinking about what happened and you're looping it around in your brain from what happened yesterday, guess what? Today you have an amazing opportunity to make a million dollars and you won't do it. Why? Because you'll be focusing on and looping around the negative thing that happened the prior day, which is done, which is over and you can't change anything about it. Tomorrow, yesterday is gone. Okay, the only thing that matters now. Tomorrow is consequential, but actually right now is even more important than anything else, which is the present moment. Making money in the market would be an effortless action for you once you create your brain loop going in the direction of your desires which is trading to make money. And so what happens is many, many people, here, let's look at this guy. This is, this guy is, I can't tell you how many people I talk to that look like this guy. And I never even see half the people that I talk to. Why? Because I have an international business, which is online, and I'm just talking to people as they call me and email me. And yet, I can picture many, many people that I talk to that look like this guy. I. I actually feel sorry for this guy. I almost want to cry when I look at this guy and I talk to some people, but the fact is this might be you, okay? You, you might be this person right here now, this guy, and don't be like this guy, okay? Because you're, you're not gonna be able to make money then, and this is what I'm trying to show you. This guy has a brain, and here we have it, and he's completely stressed out. He can barely get it together. The idea of risking $100 in the market makes him almost lose it, okay? And this is where many people live and breathe and die in the market, okay? And they lose and lose and lose and lose and lose because their brain loop is going completely in the opposite direction. And there, it's a fact that stress takes a toll on your body and your physical body. It ages you and your mind. And this thing here, your brain, is what I'm telling you that you actually need and you won't be successful unless this is going in the correct direction and it has to be healthy and as you can see from this example here of this gentleman he's completely not healthy so he needs a total overhaul here all right so it's very important to get your brain loop working in the right direction it's all about the power of the mind and this is not just positive thinking okay there's it's not enough it's almost like you have to go one step beyond. You have to say, I believe. I believe. It's, it's, you can call it just faith, faith and belief that you get up today and you have a wonderful trade and you take it. Knowing you're having 100% conviction in a system that you learned from me that it's going to work. Okay? And you have amnesia about anything that happened in your past, anything that happened in other classes and other trades and other things you did because otherwise if you don't, guess what? You're not going to make it because because of this, because of this guy here, and because of your brain loop. And this is where many people are cycling around. 
and they cycle it through and they cycle 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 over and they never get out of the cycle okay your brain is so powerful that it can read price action in milliseconds of time and I know because I do it every day and the way that I do this is using advanced technical analysis but guess what it's a result of my brain and I have trained my brain to do one strategy where I it's almost like I could do it without I could do it in my sleep and if you if you trade it with me for even more than six months a year I have people with me now I've had the business for over three years I mean people that are with me know that what I'm saying is true because the fact is like I'll just sometimes make calls that are spontaneously accurate that don't even that are just I don't even know how I see it but it's because I've trained my brain I mean I do know how I see it I see it because I've trained my brain to do one thing every day and I've trained my brain and in training your brain to do it you are moving past the fear of taking the risk when you trade okay now let's talk a little bit about advanced technical analysis because this is really the the core crux thing that I see when I trade is reading the price understanding how to read price in the correct direction is a key ingredient in profiting in the market again your brain is responsible for that set yourself apart from the world of novice traders and investors by becoming an expert in technical analysis which is price action all right experts have knowledge do their homework and read information in real time in the form of price patterns and charts now there are a lot of people out there that talk about technical analysis obviously I'm not the only person that teaches a strategy and technical analysis the difference between me and many many other teachers and people is this other information that I'm teaching you about the brain and how it works because that's what you're gonna need to put it all together or you're not gonna get there okay you could go and take a class and pay a million dollars and it could be an amazing strategy and you won't make one dime why if your brain loop and your thought processes are not functioning correctly for you to be successful you, you won't be able to make money in the market okay and you have to have a strategy too but it's a focus that I teach becoming an expert in technical analysis is a vital ingredient to becoming a successful as a professional trader or investor what a current company's value or worth is always reflected in the price now and again it goes back to the same thing with your brain brain your brain and stocks right now price patterns and charts hold the key to making decisions ahead of time and in the moment to profit and profit substantially and we're gonna go over some trades from last week okay making money in the market involves making timely decisions based on price price supersedes everything else even fundamentals you've got to make time to trade in a higher level and what am I talking about not just the idea of focusing on one strategy to make money and the price of it I'm talking about on a higher level here where you're evolving as a human being on the planet and you're learning some of this stuff about how you function and what it's going to take for you to get where you need to be and this is above and beyond reading charts this is talking about the information I'm discussing with you now about how your brain works this is one of the main reasons that I'm very successful in my trading in my business and in my entire career okay and I'm proceeding now with a, even a broader career where I'm going to be speaking on an international stage even in front of people about the stock market on national television now I would never do that if I didn't have a hundred percent conviction in my own ability to be able to withstand the pressure of such a thing and how am I able to do that because of the fact that I understand my mind and I have faith in my own ability to be able to uh, process thoughts intellectually and see what's really coming at me very quickly and make decisions fast okay and when you're on live TV that's important and when you're trading live that's important okay you almost don't even have time sometimes to think I mean if you've traded you know what I'm talking about whether you're up or down or you've a stop in or not I mean look what the market did two weeks ago if you want to be on point okay you have to train your brain to actually do it almost instinctively and the only way you do that is you have to focus on one thing okay you have to focus on one thing and doing the right thing now let's talk very briefly here about the market the market gap down this was on August 24th I'm sure everyone here knows this unless you've not looked at the market and lived in a tomb for the last month uh, the QQQ is in a spy gap down on August 24th now I have a strategy I like to short although I will go long and I looked at this gap the market gap down it closed up here at 102 and gap down here I'm gonna go over this in a minute but I looked at it and rated it I have a system I'll talk about this more in a minute and I looked at this and I said wow is this a short and then I looked at it and I said no it's actually not a short it's actually not a short okay 
And a lot of people thought the market was falling off a planet when this happened. Now, why training your brain makes a difference? This is the same chart. This is the QQQs, okay? But this is a one minute chart. This was a daily, this is a one minute. When the market opened on the day of that gap down, massive gap down, closed the night before around 102 something, gap down in the morning around 95-ish, it fell, okay, this is in 60 seconds, $10. That's jimungus. This is actually a stock swoosh. And this is something else that I teach in the class but I'm just gonna briefly tell you here, this is a swoosh, okay? So the market opened and swooshed. Then it went over the swoosh and it did it and it went over it, okay? So this was not a short. And if you train your brain right to read all of this action here, you'll know what to do, okay? And many, many people were in panic mode when this gap down happened in the market and the open of the day of the 24th and then the huge massive $10 move down, which flipped and people didn't know what to do. And actually people are still really not knowing what to do, except for the fact that the market is actually higher. Okay. And today's trading even confirmed that despite the fact that we were red and I think we did end up closing red, but the fact is the market's higher, but many, many people are confused now because they don't understand this. How do I know? Because I've trained my brain to read this. And this was a significant day in the market, actually. And I call it an anomaly, but it was significant. So because of trading for seven years and training my brain to read price action correctly, knowing, knowing how to read this accurately, I can predict what's going to happen in the future. How do you use that information? You use that information to make money, whether you make money in minutes or days or weeks or months. You train your brain right for the purposes of making money in the market. Otherwise, you're floundering all over the place. Okay? People go to school to learn many, many things, whether it's to be a doctor, an attorney, whatever, okay? If you don't wanna to go to school to learn how to train, then you're gonna teach yourself. Now, what did I do? Well, I taught myself. It costs a lot of money. If you cannot bankroll yourself until you have no idea when, you, you can't do that. And I actually would never suggest anyone to do that. I'm not sure when I look back how I actually got through that period of my life. But I will tell you that you need a level of diligence and perseverance that far exceeds, and a bankroll actually too, that far exceeds what most people have. So the easiest thing you can do is find someone that you believe in that knows what they're talking about and knows how to trade and make money and learn from them, okay? And that's the reason I'm here, I'm doing this webinar. I'm showing you that I know what I'm talking about in the market by showing you my trade examples and some of my philosophy about why I'm, I'm successful, okay? Why I'm successful is because I understand it takes more than just a strategy. It takes getting your brain on correct. And not only that, keeping it there, okay? It's not like you just turn it on and then it's there forever. It's like you're screwing it on. It's like, although I will tell you, once you screw it on right, it's easier over time, okay? Like it's way more easier for me now today than it was six months ago or a year ago. But you still have to keep it there. Now let's talk a little bit about technical analysis. For some people, I know we have a mixed group here. Some people are new. I train based on technical analysis. This is price analysis. The methods used in analyzing securities and making investments decisions fall into two broad categories. One is fundamentals, which I don't do, and the other is technicals. Fundamental analysis involves analyzing the characteristics of a company in order to estimate its value. Technical analysis takes a completely different approach. It doesn't care one bit about the value of a company or commodity. Technicians sometimes call chartists, which really, I could call myself a chartist because I trade based on charts, are only interested in the price movements in the market. Okay, so I'm looking at the market, like that gap down in the queues and making a decision based on the price of it. Now, I look at the price and I look at the price in something called a gap, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. The gap is a strategy that I trade and I have trained my brain to read price action in the gap. It is like learning a completely different language for your brain when you are training yourself to do something that you've never done before, okay? And it's this focus on one strategy and the strategy is gaps. Now this was a trade from last week, okay? The stock symbol is BKS, okay? But here's the daily chart. Now, as I was saying, I trade gaps. Now what's a gap? Well, it's wherever the stock closes at four o'clock Eastern time and opens the next day at 9.30. When a stock closes a different price and opens at a different price the next day, that's a gap. And that's all that it is. I have a method though to find and pick stocks like BKS and say, this is a good one. And I wanna short this today or go long it or whatever. In the case of BKS, it was a short. 
So a gap really is just when a stock gaps with the opening price today is different from the closing price of the previous day's trading. A gap is a break in the price action from one day to the next. That's it. That's all that it is. Okay. My method, though, to find the right pick of the gap, for example, the stock or an ETF, is I have a rating system. And I teach it in my class. I just check it off and I tally it up. It's a 26-point rating system. I'm looking for 20 points or more every time I trade a stock. I'm looking to trade the gap in the direction of the gap, 20 points or more, whether up or down. If it doesn't get the rating, then I don't do it. And that's where you have to be strict. Again, the training of your brain. People call it discipline. It's beyond that. Discipline isn't saying to yourself, I don't want to do anything. I shouldn't do anything. I can't do anything. Please don't let me do anything. And you sit on your hands. No, it should be like that. You get up in the morning, you rate the gap. The gap rates 20 points or more, you do it. You do it. You train your brain to do it, and you just do it. And you do it according to the risk that you set for yourself. And if it doesn't rate 20 points or more, then you don't do it. Simple. You're not like, oh my gosh, I have to trade, and oh my land, I can't stand it anymore. I want to trade. And then you take a trade that's stupid and selling. It doesn't even make any sense, and you lose. And then you fight all day and you trade to four o'clock and you're down a million shares. I mean, it's just, don't even go there. It's, it has nothing to do with discipline. It's about training your brain. You just train your brain. You say, I, I'm doing the system. I learn the system. The system sets up, I do it. And then you have the brain loop going in the right direction. And then even if one trade doesn't work, which sometimes trades don't work, even my system is not flawless. No system is flawless. Okay. That's why you stops, which we'll talk about in a minute. But I know, because I've trained my brain, that if I don't get a good one today, I'll get a good one tomorrow. If I don't get a good one today, I'll get a good one tomorrow and the next day. Okay, I have like, I don't even, there's no stress, there's no anxiety. I don't have the chronic anxiety anymore. I know that I'll get it. I know the market will give it to me. I don't concern myself with any of that. I just get up the next day and I carry forward and I move forward. And this is the problem that many people don't do. They live in the past. Now, I titled my system and named my system the Golden Gap. The Golden Gap is a gap that has a high odds of working on the day. I usually find one pick or maybe two. In earnings season, which is coming up in about two weeks, there will be a many, many, many gaps, okay? Finding gaps that rate according to the 26-point Golden Gap rating system is like finding gold in the market because it pinpoints what the stock's going to do before it does it. It spots institutional money, and that's how you as an individual making money in the market. Institutional money is hedge fund money, banks. Actually, I met a guy last night. He lives in my building. I, I started, this guy started talking to me in the elevator. And he was going up to Penthouse 1. And I said, oh, I wonder what the difference is of that apartment and my apartment. Because I live in a Penthouse 2. And I said, and he said, do you want to see it? I said, yeah, let me go up. So I went up and I saw this guy's apartment. He had 11 foot ceilings. It was actually a better view than mine, which is hard to believe. But it really was because of the fact that he had higher ceilings. And guess what? He works for a hedge fund. I said, I got to ask you what you do. And he told me he works for a hedge fund. I, mean, I just, I can't even tell you the amount of money that is in these hedge funds. I mean, it's, it's almost astronomical. Like, you can't even believe it, okay? So you got to be with those people. They're the ones that are making the gaps, okay? They are gaps that have the high odds of working on the day in the correct direction of the gap, the large momentum move. And that is what I call them. The professional gaps, they're golden gaps. BKS was a golden gap. Institutional selling came into this gap, into the open. This is 9.30. This is a 15-minute chart, and it fell off a planet all the way down into almost 4 o'clock Eastern time. This is what institutional selling looks like. No let up, falling off a planet. The stock opened here around $15. Low of the day was $11.50 something. That my friends, is institutional selling. You will not get a move like that in a stock without selling. You had shorts in here, but it's mostly selling. And who sold this? Heavy positions in the market. And you can see the volume here at the down, this here, of this volume. So why do golden gaps work to read price? Because they're created with institutional money. That's what makes the gap. And the gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, the large institutional money. Again, like the guy that I met, that works for the hedge fund. You need a way, therefore, to find those gaps that are being moved by institutional money because you know what? There's not every single one. You could, you could look at a million stocks on any given day and some of them don't even move. Many, many days, you can't do anything with many stocks. You've got to find the ones that are the good ones, I call them. And this is the strategy. It's the gap. It's the golden gap. And by having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it. Gaps are an event. 
and they create a sense of urgency. What should we do? What should we do? Is BKS, should we sell it? Should we sell it? Yes, sell it. And it falls and drops $4. Do you see the difference? Okay, that's the sense of urgency. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. If you're in BKS and you're long it and it's falling off a planet, you better make up your mind what you're doing with that quickly, okay? Because you could be down or lose the profit. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful as well. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of power and money. And this is really the only way you're going to make money in the market as an individual person. Unless you're going to do everything under the sun. Day trading, options, swing trading, core trading, have a huge account. You can do it all and carry them overnight. You know, you really have to be point on, spot on. You have to be like, you have to be correct. I mean, I don't even know how else to say it. Like, you have to be right. You have to be right a lot, actually, if you want to make money doing this. And so I developed a system to focus on this. And the idea of training your brain to do it is where it gets you there. It's the power in the money of the gap that makes it move. And you take that and you take the strategy that I teach and what I know and you train your brain right and that's it. It's like you're there. You're right there. You don't need to do anything else. The problem is that many people don't understand the way to train their brain and many people don't understand the strategy to do it right or find the right pick. They want to do many, many trades a day. They usually do one trade a day, maybe two. But learning a system that teaches you how to read the direction of power and money is something you can use forever in anything you do as long as you want to trade. And quite frankly, it is a professional way to trade. The purpose, okay, of finding stocks to trade in the Golden Gap course that I teach is you want to find something that has a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Like 80% or more that this is going to move on the day in my direction. A big move. Early confirmation of the bias and the move between 9.30 and 10. If I'm not in a trade by 10, I'm not taking it. Okay? It's not right. And precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward, which we're going to go over in the examples. So my system is really a, a multi-purpose system. It's a 26-point rating system that can be used to rate stocks to play intraday, but you can also use it for swing or core trades. I do have a swing trade letter, all right? But then you're holding the trades overnight, or you can do it for options. I really do personally, though, like to day trade. I like to day trade because I like it for income generation. I have the money right away, all right? But day trading is for short-term, immediate money. Long-term financial goals, you can still use my strategy for long-term savings investments, all right? But it's possible to use my one strategy for everything. Why? Because of the fact it follows the institutional money. And that's why it's so valuable. And this is why you have to train your brain right to use it, because then you can see it in many, many different time frames. Again, there's no substitute for training your brain right how to do it that way. It's the multiple purpose ways of doing it. And that's where you get the conviction. The conviction to do what? To take the risk. To take the risk when you get the good ones, okay? So you're using the advanced technical analysis in ascertaining the direction of the setup, and then you use it in multiple time frames. And if you do this, it can train your brain accurately. You can make money, which really should be the goal. The goal is not to trade every day, necessarily. The goal is to go after it when it's good and to be able to ascertain what is good and what is not. I can tell when there's days there's nothing to do. I can tell when there's days that there's something amazing, okay? It's one of these things where you absolutely, absolutely have to be able to know when to go heavy into something. Now, let's look here at the joy, okay? This was a gap. I only do one strategy. It's golden gaps. So I get up in the morning and I rated the gap. This was joy back on September 3rd. The stock gapped. Again, let's go over it. It closed up here at one price and opened the next day another price. That's all that it did. But I have a method I teach to rate it. I'm looking for 20 points or more. It got it. So then I look to short it. Okay, I'm doing the gap in the direction of the gap. If it was a bullish gap and I rated it, I would have been looking for 20 points or more to buy it. Anyways, this is a nice gap. Now, what happened here with this one? Another one that fell off a planet. The stock opened and it swooshed. And this actually was another swoosh that happened. There's been a couple swooshes in the last month, bearish swooshes too, actually, okay? Then the stock set up as a short here. Or you could have done it up here. Now, this was the money that I made on this stock on the day. I took a decent amount of risk to make this money, okay? I made it very, very quickly. Here was the trade, here and out. So to be able to make over $4,000 in less than 15 minutes, 
is I, I'm, there's only one thing that's responsible for that. It's my trading method, my strategy, but it's really my brain. The ability of my brain to be able to do it, to just take the trade and put in the stop and know that it's going to work. I've trained my brain over and over and over and over and over and over and over again over the course of seven years to rate gaps using my 26 point rating system that I have the conviction to take the trade. And I never look back. If I have a loss on one day and one gap doesn't work, I just, I just have amnesia. I just don't look back. And then I get up the next day and make even more. And it's just one of these things where you have to keep pressing forward. But if you don't have a strategy that's going to make you any money at all, then you're, you're up a creek no matter what anyway. So you have to have the strategy. This is what I'm going over right now. Here are the gap and taking the trade. You have to know where to take it. You have to know to look for joy. You have to know the entry and where to get out and the target. I'm just going to go over here. But you also have to train your brain right to do it or you won't do it. Okay? So price was 1890 If you took 6,000 shares... Actually, no, this is the wrong number here. This isn't the right exit. This isn't the right exit at all. I don't even, I didn't even, I didn't update this, sorry. <laughs> I just realized now I didn't put in the trade right. Let's just look at the chart. Sorry, everyone. Uh, here was the entry. I didn't even have the time right in that. Here was the entry in here. Actually, I did have the entry right. I just didn't have the time right. It was 940, okay? And the exit was in here. Let's see it. So if you got in here and you got out here, it was almost a dollar. My example is incorrect, so ignore that. But the entry was in this bar in here, with the stop over here. This is a one-minute chart, and it dropped a buck. Okay. Now, you could have gotten out here. If you got out here, this is still a beautiful move. First target was 18. You could have lowered the stop here and had one more push down, and you could have made another 20 cents. This okay it's about how to train your brain right to do it and it's because of the pick of the joy and actually joy opened a swoosh so the high of the day and this was like 20 something low in here was 1780 but this example is wrong sorry about that this is my trade i just didn't update the example sorry all right let's go to bks hopefully I have the example right in this one um okay here we have it this was the one from the night this was just in the last week stock closed here gap down now, I will tell you that I did this in the, I did this actually twice. I did this in the morning and then I did this in the afternoon, and it was weird because I don't normally trade in the afternoon, but I saw this was going to fall off a planet. Now, let's look at this one. This is the morning trade, again in the one minute chart. I actually didn't do anything with this in here. It was kind of thin, so I was waiting patiently. So I waited, the stock opened, rallied, held. You could have shorted this here or here. This is the whole morning move, okay? Beautiful, fabulous. Went to the target of $14. Now, this is correct. Price of this entry was $15.10. This was the morning move. I'll show you the afternoon trade I did in a minute. Anyways, the morning move was $15.10. Risk is $0.30. Cents. Exit is $14. Bucks. It actually went past that, though, okay? If you take 5,000 shares, this is a significant risk. This is an advanced risk. It was $1,500. And you could have made $5,500. Either way, it's a 3R trade, meaning for every dollar you risk, you make $3.66. So let's say you only want to make 500, you don't only, only want to risk $500, okay? You still are making over $1,500 in the trade. Three times 500, okay? See the difference? Either way, this is the same move, okay? You enter the trade here short. Actually, no, here's the entry. I'm sorry, 1510. You enter the trade here short, put the stop, and it drops. I did get out of this actually way before it fell off the planet for the morning. So you could have held this down. I personally don't like to hold morning trades that long. And it did go to the target. If you had held it longer, you would have made more than I made. But I took the morning trade and got out. Now, what happened after that? Well, then it kind of wiggled and jiggled. So I'm out here in the morning, okay? Usually 10, 10, 15-ish. The stock kept going. So do you see for that this is in the after? Well, this is the late morning, early afternoon. It went down, actually, 14 was the target. I was completely out, wasn't doing anything. It kept falling, all right, but I was out. I followed my rules. Then it started to rally up, and I was just watching it. I was eating lunch. I don't normally trade in the afternoon, but do you see here how this stock rallied up and broke? Now, 
in this moment here, the stock actually set up to fall off a planet. This here, I call it a sandwich, but this did a sandwich. And this is the move. So you could have taken the morning move, which I did in this, and then you could have taken an afternoon move in this. And you actually could have done this here. I did not, but you could have. Now, uh, now here, I don't have the right trade in here. Uh, this is the wrong price. This is the wrong price of this entry. I just didn't correct my, my uh, information here. Sorry, I'm just gonna show you the trade. The entry was here. Here's the entry in this. You could have shorted this right in here, right when it broke the low. It's around 1330-ish, see it? And actually, if you held this down all the way, you could have held this at 1150. I didn't hold it to there. I got out at 12. So I actually shorted this here. The low was 1150. My target was 12. I actually got out in this red bar here and it kept going. It actually, I could have actually made another 50 cents, which is insanity, but it doesn't even matter. Anyways, here was the entry in this and I exited in this bar because this is a nice extended bar in here and it already had dropped five bars down, but it went, it still even went more. It was crazy. It actually dropped another 50 cents. So I did this in the morning, did this here. I'm sorry for the apology. I, I didn't go back and finish this in here. Sorry about that, but it doesn't matter. I'm showing you here in the one minute the entry and where I got out. And I got out at the target, okay. But it did actually drop another 50 cents. So when you're figuring all this out and you're seeing that it's gonna go fall off a planet and you're doing a late trade, you kind of have to be more realistic with the targets, I think, which I was. Any questions about BKS or the joy? I'm sorry I don't have the examples right, but if you really want my exact entries and exits, I can email it to you if you wanna email me, Kathy put my email information in there. I didn't go back and finish putting those in after I downloaded the chart, sorry. But if you want me to go over it more in depth, I can do that for you if you email me. And actually speaking of which, if anyone wants a trial to the live trading room, you can email me as well. I can give you a trial to the trading room for this week if you wanna sit in and get my calls. All right, let's go over FNSR. This was a really good one from Friday. Okay, stock closed up here, gap down. I actually did a video on YouTube on Thursday night when I saw the gap, the stock gap at night. If you go back and listen to my video Thursday night, before the Friday, I called and told you Thursday night what this would do. On Thursday night, I said, if this holds 13, the target's 12 and it's a short in the morning. And I rated the gap and it was 22 points. So I had that on YouTube. You should go to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube site. Every once in a blue moon, I'll put webinars on there, market calls, whatever, calls like this. The fact is that how did I know what this was going to do because of my gap rating system that I rated a gap, knowing it was 22 points, knowing it was a short, and it told me the numbers too. It told me that if this held 13, it would work as a short, and that in fact the target was 12. Now this actually broke like 10 pennies under the $12 number. I had a huge trade on this on Friday, an absolutely huge trade. Now, I talked about this in the room today. I My heart was pounding when I was in this trade because I was up so much money. But, you know, this is where you, when you are training yourself and your brain to actually do something correctly, you, you push through it. You push through the heart pounding, you push through the fear, you, you push through all of it, because you know what, if you don't, you're never, you're never gonna make the money that the market can offer you. If your goal in life is to do very well and be successful in the market, you will have to push through these things and do it, which I did on Friday in this trade. But I will tell you that many, many people fail to do that, can't do that. Why? Because they don't have conviction. They don't have conviction in the strategy itself or themselves to be able to make the right decision. And they second guess themselves. Is $12 really the target? Should I get out before? What's really the target? Where is the, really the resistance? Where is the support? Where is the entry? How should I, where should I put the stop? People question themselves over and over again. You know what? I don't question myself. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I take the loss. Big whoop. You know, I have the stop in. But I don't second guess myself. And I push through. And I do it. Now, I have been doing my strategy for seven years. If you take my class, obviously you'll take the class, but you'll have to have some kind of faith and trust in me to mentor you. If you're in the room and calling the trades, you take it with me and you do what I say. And if you did what I said on Thursday night and watched the video, you made money on this on Friday. And it was a freebie because I put it on YouTube. All right? Now, let's see if I have the example right in this. Yeah, I do. 
I entered it at 1272. I actually exited at 1219. We'll go back and look at that. Here's the profit. And it did go to the target of 12. I didn't go to my YouTube site. Kathy has plopped it in the room there. Subscribe to my YouTube site. I have the video on there. It was a great day for the weekend. But anyways, let's go look at the end frame. So here you have the stock at open, rally, boom, hit, we shorted, and then it dropped. Okay, so I got out in the first move in here. Again, I typically like to be done in the first half an hour of the day, and I was out, all right? But I will tell you that the stock rallied up and then broke. This is a little later, and it was a Friday. It took past 11 o'clock. I think it was by 12 o'clock it went to the number. So I did the morning trade, which is usually what I do. But if you did the morning trade, you could have gotten out and got all back in and took the second one. Or you could have done the morning trade and got out of half, let it rally back, take it out. Or you could have done the whole trade, let it rally back, lower the stop, and push it on through to get it to the number. But you would have had to wait till 12 o'clock to do it. Okay. This is the only example I had in here today that was correct besides the joy. That's funny. No, I didn't even have joy right. Sorry, I was just rushing. It was my birthday on Saturday, and I wrote this webinar Friday before my birthday. I didn't want to do anything on my birthday weekend. But if you're interested in information about my exact entries, you can email me. Now let's talk a little bit about percentage of return in day trading, okay? Can everyone hear me? Kevin just wrote something in the room. I don't see any writing, though. Can everyone hear me? Does it have, do we have sound? Okay, percentage of return in day trading. It's based on an R concept. And people always ask me this, well, how much money did you risk really, Melissa? Okay, like what did you make on that? What do I need to do that? Well, what is an R unit? Okay, I didn't make this up. Somebody else did in the universe. But an R unit is one risk unit. One risk unit is how you're looking at taking the risk. And it should be equal or close to equal for trade. The risk unit is the amount of money you're actually risking the trade if you use a hard stop. If you do not use a hard stop, you have unlimited risk. Someone asked me in the trading room today to use a hard stop or a mental stop. I almost went off on Moses who asked me that. There is no such thing as a mental stop. It's a hard stop. Mental stops are not, there's no stop then. <laughs> okay, you have to have a hard stop. I used hard stops. Many people did not know where to put a stop and did not use them. I can't even tell you how many shares I had of that. FNSR on Friday and I had a hard stop in okay it is important to use hard stops no matter what your level of trader beginner intermediate advanced you've got to use the stops you have to do it okay but you got to learn where to put them so you don't get dinged out before they go against you now let's look okay I, I use the BK asset example here this is return on investment usually the stocks I trade between five dollars and 65 bucks all right my favorite ones are about 20, 25, 30-ish. I don't have any preference to brokers, but you need a broker that has access to shorts. And if you don't have a broker that has good shorts and you're gonna have trouble trading my strategy, I can refer you to a broker that has good shorts. You can email me if you want. You can go to Retail House or Prop Place, whatever you wanna do, but you have to have shorts, okay? Now, if you took 5,000 shares, which is a good size, which I did in the BKS, the buying power needed was only $75,500. That's not cash, that's the buying power, that's the leverage. Cash needed was 18875 if you went to a retail house. And if you went to a prop place, you would have needed 7500 That's amazing, okay? That means you could have taken this amazing trade in BKS with 5,000 shares at a prop place with only $7,500. Where are you going to make that kind of money? Total profit, this is to the target, if you held it all the way down and took 5,000 shares of the BKS in the second trade in the afternoon, was $15,500. Risk to reward is 10.33. Now, let's just say you had done this. Remember, I did two trades in this, okay? Let's say you had done the whole shebang and held it all the way down to the target. Took the trade and held it all the way down. If you had a retail account, you would have actually almost made your entire account in cash on the day if you took the morning call and got out at the end of the day you would have had to keep lowering the stop though if you had taken the train with 5,000 shares with a prop account and only had 7,500 bucks you would have doubled your account that's insane 
So percentage of cash outlay for the retail account was 25%. And even that's insane. Because that means you only had to outlay 25% of your account to take this trade and make almost your entire account back, which is 100%. And I'm not talking about the prop place. You could have doubled it. You would have made 200%. So this is what I'm talking about. So people always ask me return investment. It's I don't talk like that because I talk in, in our units. But for those of you that don't understand risk units because you're too new to day trading or my method, and you just understand percentage of return on investment, which a lot of people look at, I there it is. Okay, And I could do this example for all the ones I do. FNSR was insane actually because the actually what was that let me just figure out the buying power needed for the FNSR I didn't do that I should have done that one 1274 let me just figure something out 1274 same it would have been almost the same it would have been almost the same actually with the size I had in this for the buying power needed so sometimes people ask me well how much money do I need to trade your method or how much buying power do I need if you've got a hundred thousand in buying power you can, you can make this kind of money trading my method. So that means 10 grand in a prop place or in a retail place, 25. You don't need a million dollars to trade and make this kind of money. But you do need to define BKS with the Golden Gap rating system. And you do need to know the entry. And you do need to know where to put the stop. Otherwise, you'd never take 5,000 shares. And on top of that, you have to be able to train your brain to take 5,000 shares and know you can do it and not sweat a bullet and not kill it. Okay. Go ahead. You can send me my questions. I'm super. Oh, thank you very much. So one bigger picture thing here that I'm going to point out before we close out here tonight is that in order to become successful, you've got to keep the bigger mind and picture, which is living in the now. You're, it's the daily decisions of living in the now that take you to the next phase of where you're going to reach your goals. If you are constantly living in the past, you will never achieve your goals, which you have for the future. How will you get where you want to go? If you're living in the past, you won't. It bogs you down. It's like a weight. It's like a black hole. It's like a weightiness, okay? The only way you move forward in life is live in the moment. You have your goals. I'm not saying don't think about the future or your goals, okay? My goal is I want to get a fabulous, beautiful, fabulous, amazing gap this week. I have a feeling I'm going to. There's two things I'm thinking of. But either way, it's the idea, okay, that... I'm living today because I could get up tomorrow morning and not even have a good gap and not trade at all. But I might. I might have a good one. How I know? The reigning system, which will tell me what to do. So the bigger picture is you've got to make more money to have a better lifestyle, whether that means working less hours, buying a bigger home, whatever you want to do. And also working from home, which is a very nice thing, which I do, which is one of the reasons I like to day trade. So I teach a class. The class is called the Golden Gap Strategy. It's a Golden Gap course. It teaches the one strategy all the entries and plays, which I do, how to trade the open, which is actually something I'm extremely good at doing, even seeing that market gap down in the way that I read that correctly to know it wasn't a short. I also teach you advanced chart reading skills and how to get conviction in your trading and the market as a source of wealth, which is exactly actually what the market is if you look at it that way. But if you train your brain to think otherwise, guess what? You're going to look like that loopy, loopy guy who was stressed out. If you are in fear about taking risk and your ability to be able to conceive that the market is something you can make money from, if you are negative about that, that that's what you're going to create. You have to turn that loop around starting right now. Like this second, right now. What time is it? It's 519 Eastern Time. The Golden Gap course teaches a strategy and how to trade gaps. The course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade every day. And you can use the free TFs or options or whatever you want to do with it. Okay, And then the gaps, really. The course also teaches you what direction to trade the stock in the day. And the course teaches you chart analysis and technical analysis at an advanced level. And thank goodness I do have a gifted brain or would have never figured out the gap stuff in the first place. But... I'm telling you that as powerful as my brain is, even if I didn't have it on in the right direction, I'd be working against myself. And the problem is you cannot work against yourself. If you're going to work against yourself, you got no one on your side. So you can't work against yourself. Because the market could carry either way, really. If you make it or you lose, or you make it or you lose, the market doesn't care. 
So why take the Golden Gap course? To learn a strategy you can use to make money in the U.S. stock market, which I'm due. To learn a strategy that offers momentum moves in stocks each day, which is based on institutional selling or buying if I'm buying a stock. To learn how to trade gaps, to read charts using advanced technical analysis, and to learn how to trade in multiple time frames. All right. I'm teaching people how to read price patterns, how to figure out the targets. And, and it can be a career for you. Now, I don't know if that's what you really what you're doing this for, if it's part-time income, or I don't know your goals, but honestly, like I needed a new career about, I don't know, 10 years ago now or something, and I realized it, and then I started to trade and figure it out. If you don't like your job, this is another thing above and beyond the money, if you're unhappy in your life, that brain loop is wheeling itself around where every day you get up and you're like, oh, I have to go to this job and oh, I can't stand this and oh, I hate these people. I mean, you can't ever get to the point where you actually are in love with your life. And you got to get to the point where you're in love with your life. So you got to start right now. Even if you have to get up and go to that job to pay for the class, to pay for the trading account, to fund the account, to get to the point where you learn the system, you're making money to quit the job that you hate. You have to start somewhere to do it. Because if you don't, six months will go by and one year will go by and you'll say, why wasn't I here? Why didn't I do it then? You have to start somewhere, which is living in the now and saying, this is what I'm capable of right now. And I will keep the bigger picture in mind so I stay optimistic and positive and motivated to change my life because I'm really not that happy with it right now. Maybe you say to yourself, and I don't like this job and I think that I deserve to be making more money. Whatever it is, you have the goal, but you live in the now. And part of that is taking steps towards your future. If you're sitting in the now, not taking steps towards your future, only in la la dreamy land, you're never going to make those goals achievable or happen. And if you're continuing to live in the past, then you'll never even be able to live in the present where you actually can take the steps necessary, which is the work involved to create the future that you desire. And this is where you have to understand your brain. It's all about training the brain. I, I'm really good at doing this. I'm really good at doing this, and I'm doing this right now every day with myself alone in my apartment, and I'm also teaching people how to do it, okay? And this is how I'm getting to the next level in my life, okay? This can help you get to the next level with anything you do. It's not even trading. This is relationships, professional connections. Like, I am meeting amazing people right now in my life. Like, people, it's almost like, ugh, I'm. I started writing a book. It's Really, if I wasn't at the place that I was right now, having trained my brain, I would never, I would never be meeting these amazing people. So if you want to get out and create this amazing life for yourself, you got to do it. I mean, you have to just say, wait a minute, let's look around and see what can we do to change the situation. And you can complain and whine and cry and think about the past and all the mistakes you made and all the stupid trades you ever took and the bad classes you ever took. And you could, you could just beat yourself up of it all night long and lose sleep and drink yourself to sleep at night. But at the end of the day, what's it going to get you? Nowhere. Just say, I forgive myself for doing all these crazy, silly things. I didn't know any better. You know what? It's time to move on. It's time to just think about what I can do to get where I want to go. And, and you got to leave the past behind. And, and if you don't, that loop keeps going around and it's working against you because the loop is real and it's inside of you. So therefore you have control over it. Do you understand? So empower yourself to trade the market. I teach a class. The class is called the Golden Gap Course. Retakes are free for the class. The class is online. It can be anywhere in the world and take it. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks or professional bearish gaps. I teach a bullish gap class. However, I prefer, okay, to actually do bearish gaps because kind of comes into stocks when I short them. The class is this weekend. If you want to do the class, it's September 19th and 20th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's a full weekend. You will be here and you'll be paying attention and taking notes. The cost of the class is $34.99. If you want to sign up, you have to email me for registration information at melissa@thestockswish.com. At I will tell you right now that the price of the class is going up. Why? Because it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth more than I'm even charging. And the price is going up to $39.99 as of October 1. And there will be no exceptions. So don't even ask. If you want to do the class in September, sign up. If you want to do the class this week, sign up. If you want to sign up by September 30th, you can play the old price, even if you can't do the class to October. But as of October 1, the price is going up to $39.99. And you can make this money in one trade or two trades or in one week or in one month. It depends how much you're risking. This worth it. Okay. And this is above and beyond all the other stuff that I help people with which you need if you want to be successful okay it's very very important 
I also teach a class called the Trends Course. This is a two-day class, too, but I split it up 12 to 4 during the week. October 21st and 22nd, cost of the class is $9.99. You can email me if you want to sign up for this. This is for long-term trends. This helps with your day trading. It's really if you want to do swing trades or core trades or even options. And if you want to do both, actually, then you can do both of these. And I'm offering a special if you want to do both of the classes, the Golden Gap course and the Trends course. The price is going up as of October 1st, okay? Does anyone have any questions about anything else that they want to ask me? I'm offering a special. If you sign up for the Golden Gap class by Friday, you can get the live trading room free to the end of the year. You gotta sign up by Friday. So not only will you be able to sign up and pay the current price before it goes up, you'll get the room free to the end of the year. The live trading room is only open to students that are students of the Golden Gap class. Okay. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? Email me if you have any questions or ask me now. Does anyone have any questions about anything I said? Any of the trades? I'm sorry I didn't have the actual <laughs> trees and eggs. It's right in there. I, I honestly did that like Friday before I went out for my birthday. Uh, KPC, yes, you can email me. My email is Melissa at thesockswish.com. Would the strategy pick gaps which are still within the previous day's range? It's just about gaps. It's just, if it, it has nothing to do with the range. If a stock closes at $22 and it opens the next day at $21.65, it's gapping down. So it has nothing to do with that. You rate the gap. You can rate anything that gaps. You can rate every gap down in the world if you want. I'm just usually, I've just been doing this for so long that I usually make a small watch list in the morning and then I rate the couple that I like and then I am usually pick the best one. But really, it has something to do with that. So if it's closed at whatever and opens the next day as a gap down at whatever price, whether it's in the range of the day or whatever, you can rate it. It has nothing to do with anything. I hope that answers the question. Anything that's gapping down, you can rate. Anything that's gapping up, you can rate. But you have to rate it. And then you tally it up. It's a system. It's, it's, a, it's a taking all the pieces of the puzzle together and making it work. And I'll say one last thing. I'll let everybody go. Unless you have any other questions or if you do email me. It's training is about you take the whole thing together. It's not just, oh, I'm going to do this thing and press a button and poop. No, you have to have your brain on right. You got to be able to take the risk. You have to have an account that you can short. You got to be able to learn from someone that's going to give you encouragement and positive motivation, which is me. You have to have a, be in a trading room where someone's going to call the calls to tell you where to put the stops if you're new. You have to actually learn a strategy and take the class and understand it conceptually. You have to train your brain on right. And if you've been through hell and back because you've done umpteen classes and lost a million dollars in the market until you meet up with me, you're going to have to really work on yourself. And that is something I can help you do, but you really, it is up to you. It's not just one thing. It's everything. And you got to know everything to make it. And you know why? Because you can make a lot of money in the market. Because you can make $5,500 in 15 minutes. And where the heck are you going to do that? Nowhere. This, it's, it's mind-boggling. It's so mind-boggling that the guy that even works for the hedge fund, hedge fund that I met last night would probably be jealous of me if I taught him how to do this. I'm telling you. Because that guy has oodles of stress. He makes a lot of money, but he has oodles of stress. I don't have that stress. I don't have that stress. I don't have that stress at all. I'm done every morning and I'm done trading. I mean, I'm making this kind of money and I have no stress. Do you understand? The stress is I'm sweating a bullet when I'm in it. I'm like, do I get out at 12 and 19 or do I hold it to 12? Do I make 5,000 or 6,000 or 3,000 or 4,000? Really? I mean, come on. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, people have real jobs. Like that guy that I met last night, like are under crazy amounts of stress. This is a great thing about this. This is why I love doing this, people. And while I'll never do anything else. Have a great night, everyone. If you're interested in the class, email me at melissa.thestockswish.com. Thanks for coming, everyone. You're welcome.